Hello, today we're going to build a very simple microphone that can be used to listen through a window. To understand how you can listen through a window, you need to first understand what sound is. Sound is tiny vibrations. The sound or vibrations your ear is hearing right now are being produced by my throat or vocal box. A microphone is capturing those vibrations electronically. Your computer then plays that electronic signal and your speakers vibrate, creating the sound you're hearing right now. Now the glass here is a microphone from my first book called Dog Gone Dog. The main character, Dewey Mac, invents the glass here to spy on some guys he doesn't trust. In the book, Dewey makes this out of an old pair of headphones. We're going to make one that will work a lot better here. We all know that if a pebble is dropped into water, ring-like ripples spread in all directions over the surface. A doorbell ringing sends out similar but invisible wave-like impulses which travel through the air with a speed of about 1,100 feet per second. When these vibrations reach your eardrum, you hear this sound. But remember, it's the vibrations that travel, not the air. Most of the sound that we hear travels through the air but it can also travel through water, metal, and glass, just like a window. You're going to need these parts. A piezo buzzer, two alligator cables, and an eighth inch male audio plug. First, take your piezo buzzer. You can buy one or find them in old toys, alarm clocks, stopwatches, stud finders, and some musical greeting cards. Anything that beeps, bleeps, buzzes, squeals, or chirps probably uses a piezo buzzer. You're going to need to cut the plastic housing off of this. Get an adult and have them use wire cutters and be careful. Tape the flat side of your piezo buzzer to a single piece of glass. Now most house windows are going to be double paned, which is two pieces of glass. This is to stop sound and heat from traveling through them. Some older windows or doors might have a single piece of glass and that's what you need. I'm going to test everything on a picture frame I bought from the dollar store. Connect your two alligator cables to the two arms of your eighth inch audio plug. Next, connect the other two ends to the red and black wire coming off your piezo buzzer. You're going to need to amplify or increase the volume of the sound. You can use a guitar amplifier, computer speakers, portable cassette player, mp3 recorder, or even a stereo system to do this. Sound travels in waves. The picture of a sound wave, if we could see it, would look very much like this. We want to make this wave stronger, so we amplify it here in the studio control room. Remember, turn the volume down on your amplifier all the way before plugging something in. Then, slowly increase the volume as you tap on the glass. Now I hear it! That's because sound travels better through the glass than it does through air. Right now, the only sound you're hearing is this piece of us. I know it's not the best, but it's still pretty good to think that you're listening through an object. So when I'm speaking, my voice is shaking this glass. Let me take in a little tour of my camera here. Here's the piezo buzzer attached to my wires, my alligator clips, going down to these alligator clips, going down to my amplifier, from my amplifier going up to my camera. Now that you can have a microphone that can listen through objects, you can have a lot of fun, especially with some funky musical instruments. 